Hi, today we're going to work on this topic called uh, difference of two perfect squares. Well, how do you recognize them? Um, just like the title says, it's difference, which is subtraction of two perfect squares. And x squared and also 4, they're both perfect squares. And if you see a subtraction between these two numbers, there's a difference of two perfect squares. It's very unique and the amount of work to factor these two is actually very, very easy. Uh, what you need to do is first uh, find the square root of x squared. Right? The square root of x squared, and that is x. So we'll put x here and x here. Now next, find the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is 2. So put 2 here and 2 here. And in between is actually going to just be a positive and a minus. Okay, and it works every time for the difference of two perfect squares. Let's do another example. Example, if we have x squared minus 16. Well, how do you factor these two? Again, it's going to be two binomials multiplying each other. Find the square root of x squared, and that's x. Put x, x. And find the square root of the last number, 16, which is 4. 4, 4. And put in between them a positive and negative. Okay, you can put it positive from the first one, negative the second one. Or if you don't like it, you know, order doesn't really matter here. You can put a minus on the first one and a positive on the second one. And you still get the same answer. <clears throat> you can also check. If this is correct, and you can check by using FOIL. For example, let's say you have x minus 4 uh, times uh, x plus 4, either using FOIL or the distributive property. You work it out, you should get you know x squared minus 16. So let's FOIL that. Uh, x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And negative 4 times 4 is minus 16. And notice what happens to the middle two terms here. It will always cancel in these difference of two perfect squares. Okay. So when you multiply them, this cancels and you get x squared minus 16. And that's exactly the same as our initial problem over here. See? Okay. So let's do a few more. Uh, let's say we have x squared minus 81. Well, uh, you know, if you're good at square roots, so you don't need to write it on the side. You know it's x, x, and the square root of 81 is 9 and 9. Put a you know, plus, minus, and that's a factor of x squared minus 81. Okay. Uh, the question comes, what if there's a coefficient in front of x squared? Instead of x squared minus 64, what if we add a 4 in front? How does this change? Well, sometimes you receive these problems. You want to make sure if they're a perfect squared still. Well, 4x squared, that's still a perfect squared. Now, if you take the square root of 4x squared, what number time multiplies itself will give you 4x squared? That's actually 2x, right? Because 2x times 2x is equal to 4x squared, right? So instead of x being our first term in the binomial, this time we're going to have 2x. Right? 2x. And 64, we're going to leave the same. Right? Plus 8, minus 8. And there you go. Let's do one more. 9x squared minus 49. Okay. In this case, um, same. Before, what was the square root of 9x squared? That is 3x. 3x. And square root of 49 is 7 and 7. Put a minus here, a plus here, and there you go. Right, you can always check your work by foiling or using the distributive property. And uh, you can also switch it around. This is the last one, I promise you. I don't want to spend too much of your time. Uh, let's say we have. 16 minus x squared. Well, this is still a difference of two perfect squares, but the factors, the order will be 
rearrange. Right, the fours will be in the front, and the x will come in the second place here. And you put a positive and negative, and these will be the factors. Okay, but just a note: this is not the same as x plus four and x minus four. Okay. Both of these will give you different values. They're not the same, so order does matter. So for this question over here, here, 16 minus x squared, the factors are 4 plus x and 4 minus x. Okay, it's not the other one. Okay, thank you for watching. Looking forward to uh, hearing your comments and also seeing you at the next video.